The biggest mistake most painting contractors make is they don't charge enough money. We're gonna show you how and why you need to start charging more. You have just enough jobs to keep your guys busy for another week or two. When an estimate comes along, it's important to book the job because you need to keep your guys busy and you need to keep the work flowing. But you're competing against people who are charging less than you. And when your price is a little higher than the next guy, your customers want you to bring down your price to give you the job. As much as you don't want to lower your price, you do it because you'd rather get the job than not get the job at all. Because if you don't get the job, your guys won't have work and you're not going to bring any money in. And it's really frustrating because you know the quality of work you do is worth the price, but you keep feeling forced into working for less money. In fact, you end up making just enough money to pay your guys, pay your own bills, and keep the business going. What's worse is your referrals now expect low prices. And if you try to charge more to a referral, they're almost offended that you're charging more. So once again, you lower your price. And now all the referrals you get are expecting dirt cheap prices where you can barely make ends meet. You feel undervalued, underappreciated, but you don't have any other choice. So you try to get some new clients. And then most marketing doesn't work. Even when you've got a little extra cash to invest in marketing, a lot of it doesn't work. You spend 1500 bucks on a new marketing idea, but it doesn't bring in any new customers, or maybe you only get one or two small jobs, or you win jobs by lowering your price again, which leads to more clients expecting low prices. And that's frustrating because you could have spent that 1500 bucks on paying off your credit card or taking your wife out to dinner or putting a little money in the bank. After enough marketing doesn't work, you give up on it and you decide to just focus on word of mouth, which brings us back to the same old problem. All your referrals and word of mouth clients want low prices. So you can't afford to pay your guys great money. So you have a hard time finding good help. Or if you do pay them well, you aren't making much money. So one way or another, you end up doing a lot of the painting yourself. Now you own a job. You work long ass days and some weekends. You're the business owner, you manage the payroll, you manage the team, you do the estimates, you do the painting, you fix the problems, you deal with the customers. You shoulder the weight of it all. You deal with all the stress, all this while barely making it. This is not what you set out to do when you started your business. This is not what you envisioned. But when you have a family to provide for, you have bills to pay, you don't have a choice. You do what you gotta do. And so the cycle continues. And unfortunately, a lot of painting contractors never get out of this cycle. Unfortunately, a lot of painting businesses out there and painting contractors run their business like that and are stuck in what I call the vicious cycle. Everything we just went through. But there's another kind of painting contractor out there who isn't in that cycle. They're charging high prices. They're spending plenty of money on marketing. They're still selling these jobs at these high prices. They're able to hire and pay great workers, subcontractors and painters to deliver great work that don't need to be micromanaged and deliver on their promises to customers. And they're still making great money. That's the kind of painting contractors we teach at Painting Business Pro. And in this video, we're gonna go through the main changes that you need to make to go from I'm stuck in the vicious cycle to getting out of it. So the first thing you've gotta do is you've gotta start raising your prices but everyone's concerned about raising their prices because if I raise my prices, I'm not gonna win the job. So the way that you can raise your prices and still start winning jobs is you've gotta improve your sales process. That's the difference between companies that are charging more and winning and companies that are charging less and winning. Another important thing to understand is that even the companies that are charging more money, they're not winning every estimate. They're maybe winning one out of three, one out of two, something like that, they're just winning clients who are willing to pay more money. So that brings us to the third thing that needs to happen is you've got to invest in marketing. And you say, hey, I don't have any money to invest in marketing. You don't have money to invest in marketing because you aren't charging enough money to have enough money to invest in marketing. This is what makes it, makes it a vicious cycle. So the way to get out of it is to slowly start raising your prices as you slowly start improving your salesmanship and then you take some of that profit and invest it into marketing so you're doing more estimates. When you're doing more estimates, you don't have to book every single estimate. You can book only one out of three. And when you can book one out of three, you don't have to start negotiating with people down to those low prices. Now, as you start working your way out of this, slowly charging more, slowly improving salesmanship, and slowly doing more estimates, because you're investing in marketing, you're slowly increasing your profit margin. And this can happen really fast, in a matter of three to six weeks, when you start making these changes. If you wanna learn more about how to start improving your sales, we've got a number of videos on Painting Business Pro on the YouTube channel you can learn from, and we've got a ton more training that will take your business from being in the vicious cycle to a thriving company in the full Painting Business Pro training course. 
But what you've gotta be focused on is start getting out of that cycle, start charging more, start improving your sales, and start making those changes today because you're worth it, you know it, I know it, the work you do is great, and you need to start being paid what you're worth. And the only way to do that is you've gotta start charging more, and you've gotta improve your sales process to command those prices.